Have you ever wondered what lies beneath the surface of our planet? What if there was a hidden world deep inside the Earth, filled with mysteries and wonders waiting to be uncovered? Imagine an adventure where you journey through underground caves, volcanic passages, and strange new landscapes. How far would you go to explore the unknown? For millennia, scientists, philosophers, and explorers have been fascinated by the idea of the Earth's interior. A classic's origin, Jules Verne's Insight. French adventure novelist Jules Verne released Journey to the Center of the Earth, Voyage au Centre de la Terre, in 1860. Verne's science fiction was revolutionary at the time because it combined fantastical aspects that inspired surprise and interest with actual scientific understanding. The plot of the book centers on Professor Liedenbrock, a resolute and sometimes eccentric scientist, and his nephew Axel, as they set off on an exciting journey to investigate the Earth's core. Deciphering an old document penned by an Icelandic alchemist that points to a route to the Earth's center is how they begin their adventure. Extreme temperatures, hazardous terrain, and strange underground settings are just a few of the perils they face on their trek, but their perseverance keeps them going. Innovative scientific concepts and beautifully rendered landscapes abound in Verne's book. He was passionate in scientific research and thought that human ingenuity may lead to new discoveries. Verne's vision tapped into humanity's long-standing interest about the Earth's interior, sparking a passion that endures today, even though the technology of his time could not support such an exploration. The Earth's structure, where fiction and reality collide. Even though Verne's book is fiction, scientists have been investigating the Earth's true structure, especially as geology and seismology have advanced. The crust, mantle, outer core, and inner core are the layers that make up the Earth's interior. Though the goal of traveling to the Earth's center is still an ambitious and mostly unrealized fantasy, modern science has given us a far deeper grasp of what lies beneath. The Earth's skin, or crust. The uppermost layer of the Earth is called the crust, and its thickness ranges from around 5 to 70 kilometers. It is composed of metals, minerals, and rocks, and is solid. Our homes, towns, and resources are all located on or within this layer. Despite being somewhat thin in relation to the layers below, it is essential for maintaining life. The dormant Icelandic volcano Snæfells serves as the entry point for the characters in Verne's book. This volcano is shown as a gateway to the underground world, which serves as a path to the planet's inner sanctuary. Although they originate from beneath the Earth's crust, Volcanoes are not the direct path to the planet's center, as Verne had thought. Below the surface, the mantle. The mantle, which stretches from roughly 30 kilometers below the surface to nearly 2,900 kilometers, is located beneath the crust. Convection currents, which propel the movement of tectonic plates, occur in the semi-solid rock that makes up the mantle. Mountain ranges, volcanoes, and earthquakes are all the result of these movements. The mantle is portrayed in Journey to the Center of the Earth as a huge, enigmatic region that is home to bizarre and fascinating animals. Even though the actual mantle is much less visible and less vibrant, it is nevertheless a crucial part of the Earth's structure and affects a large portion of its geological activities. The Liquid Heat Outer Core The outer core, which stretches between 2,900 and 5,150 kilometers, is located beneath the mantle. Through convection and the movement of the molten metals, thousands of degrees Celsius are the norm here. This layer is sometimes pictured as a dangerous, flaming area with extreme heat, even though Verne's protagonists do not venture within. Verne's fictitious voyage to the center is all the more extraordinary, given that modern science has confirmed that this region of the Earth is, in fact, extremely hot and inaccessible to explorers. The Earth's inner core, its heart. The inner core, which is thought to be mostly made up of solid iron and nickel, is located at the center of the Earth. It begins about 5,150 kilometers below the surface and extends to the Earth's center. 
at a total depth of approximately 6,371 kilometers. The tremendous pressure from the layers above it keeps the inner core solid despite the extremely high temperatures and pressures found there. Although the characters in Verne's book encounter strange subterranean settings, the core itself is much less welcoming. Humans could not survive in this harsh environment because to the temperatures and pressures, and there is currently no known way to get there. The Study of Underground Exploration Real-world scientists have long been captivated by the Earth's interior, but Verne's protagonists could only imagine embarking on such a journey. Significant progress was made in the study of geology and seismology during the 19th and 20th centuries, which enabled scientists to draw many conclusions regarding the internal structure of the Earth, seismology, and the interior of the Earth. Knowing how seismic waves move through the Earth is known as seismology, and it has proven crucial to comprehending the planet's interior layers. Scientists have mapped the Earth's structure and discovered that the inner core is solid and the outer core is liquid by examining how seismic waves react when they travel through various materials. Our knowledge of the composition of the Earth has been influenced by this groundbreaking discovery. Deep Mining and Drilling Humanity has advanced significantly in its exploration of the Earth's depths, even though no one has reached the planet's center. At a depth of almost 12 kilometers, uh, the Kola Superdeep Borehole in Russia is the deepest hole ever drilled into the planet. Although we are still a long way from reaching the Earth's core, this has given us important information about the Earth's crust. Mining and geothermal energy have been the focus of various attempts to go deeper into the Earth. Scientists have gained access to deeper levels of the Earth's crust as a result of these efforts, and they have made significant discoveries regarding heat transport, mineral resources, and the planet's geological processes. The Allure of Underground Worlds both scientists and storytellers have been fascinated by the notion of hidden realms beneath the surface of the Earth. Similar tales, many of which explore the notion of underground civilizations or extraordinary creatures concealed far beneath the Earth's crust, were inspired by Verne's journey to the center of the Earth. These tales appeal to our innate curiosity about what is out there on Earth and what mysteries might be concealed beneath the surface. Strange and stunning underground landscapes have been discovered in recent years as a result of scientific research of deep caverns, such as the cave systems in Slovenia, the Philippines, and Mexico. Even though these caves are located far from the center of the Earth, they provide a glimpse of what life would be like in harsh, remote settings, much like the fictional places Verne wrote about in his book. Influence and Legacy Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne has had a lasting impact on science, literature, and movies. From television series and films to contemporary expeditions into the Earth's interior, it has served as the inspiration for innumerable adaptations. And lasting interest with adventure and discovery, particularly in relation to the uncharted regions of our world, was ignited by the novel. The book Wab is, in many respects, a forerunner of the contemporary spirit of exploration that motivates people to advance science and technology. Even while Verne's fanciful journey is still purely fictional, it has inspired generations of engineers, scientists, and adventurers to keep discovering new and creative methods to explore the world. The center of the Earth is still one of the uncharted areas of exploration, despite advances in science and technology. Despite being a work of fiction, Jules Verne's journey to the center of the Earth encapsulated the spirit of human curiosity and the desire to discover the unknown. Although we now know a lot more about the Earth's structure, a lot of it is still unknown and inaccessible. In addition to being of scientific significance, the Earth's interior serves as a reminder of how much we still don't know about the planet we live on. It serves as a reminder that, like Verne's protagonists, we are all on a continuous journey that takes us deeper and deeper into knowledge and discovery, even though we aren't constantly physically traveling toward the center of the Earth. 
Future generations could eventually be able to travel farther into the planet's interior, but in the meantime, the idea of traveling to the Earth's core will always enthrall and motivate people. Subscribe now and embark on an unforgettable adventure beneath the Earth's surface. Don't miss out on the mysteries waiting to be uncovered.